that the two men are the same to be able to try and control this one at range. Sanavia, we know coming. Former Italian champion is here on Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler, you know you do well to me. Well, he's a strong guy, good fighter. The question is to history. Yeah, you know, he seemed to be, um, he was at his best um, eight, nine years ago, you know. Um, but, you know, he's got, he's got experience. It's all about going the distance. His record away from his home at home, he's won 40. De Gale. Nicely switching the attack from head to body and he's putting his punches together. All of them undefeated. They few times and um he's a very good shuffle. That really psychologically wounded harm. He had to have a real battle by De Gale against Vilchevsky certainly commands respect. Very, very close fight, you know. Um the draw would have been fight that night. For the Italian, yeah, of course, is in the corner with De Gale. Okay, scold him, okay. On the part of the ice explosive. First round to De Gale. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Non yeah. okay. no yeah. fermat this one here. Explosive. Boxing orthodox. Passes. He looks comfortable. Not close to his dog. No from watching him over the years exactly how he's going to fight he's going to try to force the fight and win it with whether he can still fresh as De Gale frankly I doubt but you never know that's a good shot good luck so, you know, one way you know he has to pressure push try and cut the ring off on there that it's pretty flush really strong you can see just how tough seven years old somebody in the run-up to this said De Gale trying to keep Sanavia Sometimes oh, it's lovely. So often, but you notice the Italian just acknowledging the quality of that uppercut. He was clipped. Gales had to ship a couple of punches in this round, but for me, he's done enough to have won this to add to the first. Strong and sturdy. When you can be bust, you have a different lead to him there. The jab so important because you can't miss him. You can bust him up the four six nine with a jab. When you want to up the tempo at any time, you don't want to go with him. You know that. Didn't you? Up just by using the jab. Just well, that was the best little spell from the Italian challenger. Good shot. The best shot for Zanabia is, is the left hand. Because he's left. De Gale stunts against some fairly fundamentally nice and sharp in here. Pretty much made to measure to make him look good if he can now. Yeah, he's looking very focused. Of course, not the frotch boute. Like for Carl. Yeah, it will be, but you know, he's got the ability to do it. Motivation from the home support, which will certainly have James DeGale trying to the mix with the big boys. Needs to come through this looking good. There's no rush there for James, I think, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, free. Oh, oh until yeah. then. A stiff jab landed there, I think. Without doubts, his uh, great rival George Groves will. I doubt them too. We'll get it on again. Yeah, isn't it? Maybe for a while. We're told to George that Stieglitz is a tough from that WBO title. Yeah. The attempted left hook thrown by the Italian was not too far away. <laughs> Wish that that's no knockdown. And score that accordingly, but that most definitely yeah. is a knockdown. That left hand, lack <laughs> appetite he's going to have for this one. 50 seconds still remaining in this fourth round, and De Gale and might be going to finish oh. it right here. Down again with that slip. Gale looking to end this fight here in the fourth round. Son of. They're telling De Gale, take your time, but another left hand, and it's been waved all over, all over the Spanish ref. Let's take another look. Well, it's a glancing blow there. Oh, no, 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 hang on, this is the end. Yeah. The first one was the slip, the very first one. Yeah, but then the second one.